Hello again, everyone. It is your Black Knight. And you know me, I'm a sucker for completeness. And after my last vanity piece where I went through and kind of just recorded what was the contents were of my of my garages and got rid of some of the cars that... I, I was out of space completely, so I had to get rid of something. So I got rid of some things. I thought, you know, I really I really don't even know what I have in, in Rusty Jack at this point because I've, I've picked up some cars, I've gotten rid of something. I have, I have to see how much space I have. Yeah, we're keeping that pariah. This is this one of the, the one cars. I'm starting out this time in my casino garage because that's where I keep Rusty Jack at the casino. He's my, my wheel spinner because he had, up until this point, more garage space. But I don't even know if he has more garage space, so... If you're interested in looking at more cars, this is you know a video for you. If not, then it's a video for me, just so that I have a, a recording of what I've got and I can look back on this someday. When you know, someday when, <sighs> when GTA says, "Hey, you know what? No one's playing this anymore. We're shutting down the servers." Now, maybe it'll be ten years from now. Who knows? But this video will still be here, if the videos are still a thing. I mean, you know, what what, what ten years could bring? I mean, it's just. Oh, it's all wild stuff. As you can see, these are all my freebies. It's still purely a freebie garage. Lots of freebies. And again, I try to keep them as stock as possible. This one I haven't even... A lot of these I haven't done anything with. You know, but the, you know, the formula cars, they're going to shift wings and stuff like that, depending on what gets used. These two, oddly enough, are pretty much obsolete. After all the effort that went into getting those. But it's... Uh, that's okay, because we've got other stuff. Exit the penthouse garage. Oh, that's right, we're in a public session. So that's a press remark douche. As, as Casino Royale, we call it the mip of her. Somebody just walked past you without killing me. That's nice. That's a nice touch. Let's see. Business battle, goods type cargo. Where? I'm in a bad plow. There it is. That's not that far away. But there's somebody on it, and you know what? If they're just parking on it just to shoot at people who show up, I'm not playing into that. Hi. I'm going to zip down the road. Let's see. What's the closest place I can zip down the road to? Right here. Let's do a quick zip down the road. A new ad. I just the, the the thing that oh that would hurt. <laughs> Not paying close attention. The thing that yeah, drove the last video was that I wanted to get the adder and I didn't really have a play. I had one spot left, so I bought I bought an adder for my other character. I haven't done anything with it. Because of the French history of Bugatti, I always tend to make these kind of blue. So that's that's a thing. It's it's an it's a good car to drive. It's not the best car. It's it's not the fastest car, even though it has you know some people still believe it to be. But you know, it is good. It's good looking. I like I like this car. I think it's a little bit better looking even than the Nero. The Nero is a little bit more aggressive. But you know, the the Adder is more of an art piece. <laughs> I have no idea what's in here. Okay. Speaking of uh, other things being somewhat obsolete, here we got the uh, the fastest uh, the fastest open wheeler and the one with the great best top speed. So there you go. That's that's um, those are a thing. Obviously, not getting rid of those. These I just build up, and there's only one of each. And I don't have I don't have a, 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 an extra copy here. So I've got a retinue and a retinue mark II. Here's my ETR one that was wildly on sale not that long ago. Done up in all kinds of Orange and toothpaste kind of colors. And I got, of course, both of my tyrants. This is the one that I got on a wild and radical sale and did in gold with off-road wheels. And this one is the one I just won. So it's all in one. This is as it was. The only It's, it's fully upgraded and has a spoiler. And uh, it's, it's not, it doesn't look much different with that spoiler. So we're, we're good. But it, it's, it, either one of them can be raced. So that's... Uh, that's a good thing. So that's where we're at with that. Okay. Another one of these side street garages. 
Where are we at here? Okay, we've got looks like one spot here. I could I could really liberate one of these, couldn't I? I can liberate both of them. But I don't really have a need. We've got one. If we have any room, maybe up in the. Uh, when we look at the facility, maybe we'll pull one of these in or pull, you know, something with that. But. It's a thought. This bagger. I don't really. This is one of the baggers I won. I wonder if it has any value. I don't really. Again, if I was going to use a bagger, I'd use the sovereign. Well, let's let's continue the tour here, and then we'll talk about what we're gonna get rid of. Lambo. Do I really need another hateful machine? I got two of these. I got one of these in each character. You know what? Maybe what I should do is the next time I'm in um, I'm in the Bruffy crew. I'll do this up with the Chrome Crew paint job and the dollar rims, just just to be, you know, out there. Or I could just wait and it, it, give it like a bright orange and the dollar rims, like the one that he's, uh, like, like the one that he was given. Who was it that built that model for him? That was a beautiful video. Right now I have it just in my impression of Bruffy Orange. Key point is, of course, he hates this car. I don't even know why. I, he says he doesn't like the way it looks. I think I think it's a good-looking car. Of course, I like Maserati, so, you know. Even though they're not... Not something I'd probably purchase. They're not the world's most reliable things. Do we need a Weasel News van? I mean, there's a lot of things we could do here. Lots of ways we can get space if we need it. Sultan. That's a good-looking Sultan. We did a good job with that one. Prairie. No, we're not. I'm, Isaac, I'm not going to your uh, your uh, office garage. I'm doing my own garage thing. Won this one. That's a that's a winner. Winner chicken dinner. Hmm. Well, let's see. We have one space for right now. Impossibilities to gain more. Marking that down. Okay, I'm now in a session on my own so that I won't have to feel bad about telling people that I don't want to go to their garages. I'm in, right now I'm in a, a self-reflective kind of mode. Should I sell one of those just to get rid of it? Again, we have to figure out where we're at. That's that's the thing. Now let's come on back. What is the next closest? Oh, we're up here. I missed the turn. I gotta go back. Okay, I just noticed this. Cell Tawa? as opposed to a cell tower. I don't know. Maybe I'm late to that joke, but... Okay, so this one's a full boat. We do have doubles on the 300 here. But they're quite different cars, really. Got your... Another pole position adult lounge racer. A little GTA Vice City reference here. And then you got... Something for just cruising through the country in the afternoon. With the, the trunk propped open so it doesn't overheat. Felters and stuff, and then, ooh, a nice blue. Not too tied to the James Bond thing. I think that's a 700, is that a, a 700 or a 700B? A 700B, 700 Yes, yeah, this is a W, those guns work. Well, that's the choice I have to make on my other one. Do I want to keep the clean fenders or not? Yeah, we got this. Is that two Sentinel Classics? Really? 
Did I put two sandal classics together? That's a sandal classic. Is this my double for the... Yeah, I got two Sentinel Classics done up totally differently. These but these were probably freebies at some point. They were very, very cheap. You get the Ron one and then the uh, the, the uh, Robo Kitty version of it. The Robo Robo Kitty Rally and then the Ron Racer. Alright. And useless, of course, because you can't take it in a race. Why? I have no idea. We got our Uptown Funk. Uptown Funk you up. It says Uptown Funk you up. So we have one space here. The way I'm, the way I'm counting it. So, hmm, so that's we're up to five. I was going to zip around with a sparrow. I might do that once I check this out. It is so quick. But there is something nice about just cruising around town in an ad or two. So, I don't know. Let's check this one out here. How many spaces have I got available? Oh, pretty good amount. Pretty good amount. All right. So we've got the the monochrome the LED retro, the classic red '57. There's my Banshee 900R. I really do. I need a habanero. Probably not. But it does kind of look cool with those tires, so. Sylvester going on here. I think that's my only sticker bombed car. Is that RS, but. And of course, the green British machine. Yay! So, five, six, seven, so three spaces here. So we're already up to eight. So the pressure is off as far as cars is concerned, I think. At least for the short term. We have to continue and, and, and look here. Here's our next port of call. For us. So I think now is the time to call the... Uh, to be lazy. And to keep my eye on the Sparrow. I don't know why it's all the way up there. Keep your eye... Do -do -do -do. Normally they back up. That was weird. You can't wait to run me over. Tupper command doing away. Okay, we're in the nightclub complex here. Yeah, let's see. This is our additional garage at the nightclub complex. Okay, so this one's full up. Got our tires. I think that was the, the tires that I, I set up for Valentine's Day. So it's a Valentine's Day tires. And you got some rusty stuff. I should really flash through this like I did the other one. The Vamos. Boy, the Vamos is just here to be here, isn't it? I mean, it's a Nova. It looks good. It looks great parked. So. Go here. That paint job gets around, I guess. Da -da -da. And we got some customs going on, some low riders, my voodoo kind of thing. Yeah, this is a car that my grandfather had for a while. No, it wasn't a, you know, a, a, one of the top end ones. It was just a regular, regular Regal. But, and of course, the donk. This is, again, when I was in my orange and toothpaste phase for everything. Same deal. Nothing, yeah, nothing here I really want to get rid of. These are nice. They look nice. Like I'm glad to have. So no new parking spaces there. Boop. Basement level two is where we'll start. And you walk in. All right. I mean, these are these are some of my most functional vehicles. I mean, you know, it's a reasonably important parking garage. Mustromberg. 
But yeah, this needs a better paint job. Now that we have we have some other stuff that's going on, but yeah, solid orange is still solid orange. It's orangey. And you know, there's none of these cars are are even up for consideration. They're they're all keepers. And so let's go down a floor. I might not sell any off on this one. I mean, that's that's a thing. Now we have space. Look at this. Over here we have our presser mark one. I wonder if we if I even built this up or not. I think I did, because it's got the, the spoiler and the, the flares on the sides. It just went completely blue on this. This is technically probably more of a drift reference than anything else than the other one, than my adder. On the other character. Hmm. That's a Thrax, right? That's the Thrax, yeah. Your body Thrax. This, of course, is the Prostitute's Lambo. That's this is another Hoovies Garage reference. No, Hoovies, uh, Vin Wicky reference, not Hoovies. They all hang out together, so it's. It's an interesting thing. You have to have a blue Corvette. Just like my Corvette is standing outside. And that, that song inspired both of those. So, ah, there you go. Your your four war, the four door, four war, four door sports car. I think this this is my this is when I was in the Spartan paint jobs. I have a bunch of cars along those lines. The limo. I'm not sure why I chose to to put the limo down here and then the. The Luxo up top, as opposed to the opposite way. I think just for convenience. But here it is. Kept this one relatively stocked. Just kind of did the wheels up a bit. My penetrator. This is set up to race, but it's, it's a basic white penetrator, you know. Goes with the colors. How many spaces we got here? One, two, three, four, five, one, two. Two. Two spaces available in B3. And we'll go down to B4. And B4? You ask. I don't think there's any space in this one, I'm guessing. Oh, there might be one. But this is my garage just for cars that were rare that I grabbed off the street. Yeah, there's like one one spot. These are These are your Modified rare finds is what you got here. These you see all the time, but it's still, it's one of those that, you know, how could you not like a lemon line phoenix? It's just, you know, what you gotta have. This, this is all good. It's all good in here. And these here, the two trucks and the two dubsters, I can use to spawn more of them if I want to make dollars. But, I mean, there's, there's better ways of making dollars. Better ways. So, yeah, we mark that down one spot. I'm just keeping a total running total here. And so that's the end. So we're yeah. So that should be at eight. I thought we hit eight already. Did I miss one? Yeah, a close. Close average, kind of. Close enough for jazz. All right, now over here by the airport. Okay, so. You have... This is a funny car. In that I actually had some kind of thing with the uh, with this gray one. Where I kept it for a long time. Then I needed space. And I ended up selling it from one account and then finding another one in this account, in this on this character, and keep and mark it up the same. So I could imagine that I transferred the car from one character to the other. And then I ended up getting another Vajero anyway, and the other on the other side. And that made that one that green one that was based off that matchbox I had. But this one, it's it's got a long history, and I don't even remember exactly what happened with it, why it was important, but it, it was important for some reason. 
And you get... I do have to have some rusty cars. I mean, he is Rusty Jack. That was his original concept, is I'd keep him in, like, rusty cars. And and originally, this was going to be just a, a really low-level account that I, I, I raced with stock vehicles and see how well I did. And, you know, we've, we've grown from that. We've, we've grown. There's a clean lurcher. Not very Halloween-y until you, you peek in the back. Blah. You, you can't remove that. And of course, here's the you know my Frankenstein again done up in funkier colors as I was getting out of my locked mindset of certain liveries. And you got Chino. This looks like it's something right off the album cover of Riding with the King. You know, it's or a Clapton kind of thing. Oh, I'm pretty sure that was a Cadillac. So this this has the vibe. And you need a hot rod. You gotta have a hot rod. Hustler. Then, then Torno. I think this was almost like the stock. You know, no, it's not stock, but it was close. What I purchased. I think. I think the. I kept the uh, the surf blue and then worked around it. But I don't remember exactly. But at any rate, it's looking good. Early in the morning for a text. That's weird. And of course, I chopped up Dave's buggy, but I kept the love thing on it so we know it was Dave's. But it's ready to race. It's a racer. Okay, so we get three. So two more slots there. So, you know, he still, he still has a definite edge on the CEO in pajamas. Okay, let's look at the office garages here. Now, when you consider the office garages, you have to realize that uh, there was a plan here. The idea was, is that as far as being CEO, he would primarily be CEO of his racing organization here. So there's a lot of race cars and stuff. There's our short Taro. Again, the Kanja has been a little bit obsoleted by, well, a lot obsoleted by the Golf, but it was, a you know, for a little bit there. I thought it was the only thing to take on, on stunts. I'm, I'm not planning on getting rid of it anytime soon. I like that car. Got liveried up drafters here. Good all rounders, off roaders. Just style stuff. And the the racing livery was blue and, and orange. That's that was a thing. The whole toothpaste and orange juice color scheme. That's where that came from. And we have some of the older stuff. I really should do this up instead of just orange on orange. It originally just started out. I was making an orange kind of basis for things. If I did that with a blue base and with the orange over the top of it, that would more fit the liveries. That may still happen. You gotta have a piss washer. You gotta have you gotta have all of these. I have the uh, the high end wheels here on this in the hopes that it would enhance the curb boosting. But I'm not sure if that's how that works. And you know, some other cars that yeah, I got to have. Again, again, they're all racers. For the most part. And here I start to switch up the color schemes a little bit. You gotta have a petty blue Dodge with a 426 in the in the block. That that just makes sense. This one was kind of kind of based on a matchbox that I found. So you know, it's, we got we have some some stuff there. Devastate. And I have it in colors of Devastator, because Devastate, you know. Gotta have a Dukes. This was originally, instead of doing blue, and I was doing yellow and, and orange a little bit. More, more citrusy. But it's, so you can tell you can tell when I got the cars or what phases I was in, you know. It's, I, you know, I have an Emirates. I never drive the Emirates because I've got the Krieger someplace here, you know. And that's just how it is. Believe it or not, that's my main racer for coupes. That's you know, that's all there is to it. I might, I might dress this up a little bit better at some point. Now that we know so much more about the best ways to work pearlescence, I think I can make that a much cooler looking vehicle. Let us hop up to the next floor. I wonder if these are stacked one on top of another in theory, or are they all in the same spatial dimensions or are they 
in different just parts of the building. You know, in the big, not in the basement, or I guess you could figure out from looking out the window exactly where you are. But we pretty much own the whole building at this point. And this one, I was, you know, sticking with a little bit more rustiness. So you have, although that is that is a potential muscle racer. That's you know, that's a Yosemite. So got your cardboard Cheverek, rusty Voodoo. That's one of my older cars. And some shiny stuff and rusty stuff. And shiny stuff. But all this is basically, you know, kind of things you'd expect to see. Now up here, this is this is a rare one that you, that you grabbed off the street. Yeah, this has to is a sentinel access or just a regular sentinel. Well here's an actual sentinel grabbed up the is it even insured? It's insured. But why would you have it here? You're not going to race with it. But, you know, I do have a secretary. Therefore, you know, I have some office cars that you would need. And we have some silliness here, of course, too. Do -do -do. This is one of those freebies that I got. Yeah, the Nemesis that I sold off in the other video for nothing. I think we have enough spaces to keep it here. That's funky. I don't even remember doing something. I don't remember some of these cars. Uh, here's the Mamba in the paint scheme that I always imagined as a kid. That's the, you know, that's how I, I think a Cobra should look for the most part in my mind. And that's just that. The Ruiner, I don't remember what I was doing with this, but it's it's definitely wild in the 80s, and I think that's ultra blue over bright purple. And yeah, the Shokatan exhaust, double 69s on the plate. Yeah, that's that, that's you know that's a keeper. I could theoretically get rid of that from my but it's you know again it's one of those I think it's one of the rare grab off the street ones or I mean it's a regular grab off the street one in a funky orange color that fits our motif and some more rustiness you know rusty rebel just to have something rusty rusty emperor just to have something rusty rustiness a tornado a rat rod how can you not have a tornado rat rod in you know a ra the racing garages of rusty jack it's just you know it's you gotta embrace the rust. A regular rusty tornado, like this could be a project at some point. Rusty rat truck. Ah, dune loader. Yeah, see, this is just a floor of the rust for the rusty jack. And look at this beat up old rusty van. You almost smell it, can't you? Can you smell it? Ah, the mildew. So I don't know if you'd consider all these project cars or just cars that you know maybe he brought to the organization before he became a multi 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 millionaire. I mean, he is Rusty Jack. That's that's how he the the premise for the character was that he he built his you know he built his reputation street racing old cars against really expensive stuff and beating everybody. There's your there's your lore. But it's not all rusty. No, not by any stretch of the imagination. Now here's another. That, yeah, one of those was a convertible. The other one's a coupe. And I thought, hey, why not have one of each? I could race either of them. But this is more. Now you're. That's a racer. But now you're more into. Here's some more of the office vehicles. You know, if you know the secretary has to take a run out someplace, or theoretically, I'd have a larger organization than one person. But you know, and I kind of do. I mean, you know, you've got. All these other characters that you deal with and talk to. You know, Tony. They're all, they're all nine yards. Oh, yeah, you need a car, grab a car. This I grabbed specifically because I just liked the the, the real satin, the smooth paint. It just looked, looked cool. Not even insured. It's insured. Is everything insured? Yeah, I think it's insured. This is, uh, I believe... This BG is based on a, a vehicle from uh, you know, Top Gear USA that I saw. I think Rutledge Wood was driving it, and he went on about the uh, how wonderful the Toyota was. And we're gonna, you know, I wouldn't mind getting one of those somewhere along the line, but in real life, but I, I don't see it happening anytime soon. Not, not likely. Because I mean, first of all, the gas mileage on them is still just horrific, and I don't go off roading. 
I'm not I'm not an outdoorsy type. I don't know if, if you know that. I'm not I'm not a camping guy. You know, it's I'm a, I'm a nice hotel kind of guy when it comes to vacation. Some place comfy. You know, I'm all about the comfy. But that that is a neat vehicle. And of course, we have our own other Lego brick machine here. No real need with with double digits on the uh, on the count so far. I think I three up there marked down that last. I think there's another two here. I didn't mark down. I think we're into double digits. No need to get rid of the menace, or even though it really there's no real purpose for a menace, or other than it, its fact that it looked like it was built out of Legos. Really, doesn't that look look? You can look at that. Doesn't it look like it was built out of Legos? I'm not saying that like it's a bad thing. But this looks like it's built out of Legos, and it, I think you can you can appreciate it just for that. And wow, I forgot about this one. Didn't know I had this revolter. These, the revolting revolter. Doops, doop, 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 doop. This is the third one, so we're almost through the. Doop, 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 doop. In all honesty, I think I would take this one over the Turismo. I know I have a Turismo here someplace. But I think uh, I think the cheetah might handle a little bit easier. It might be a little bit more consistent to drive, less challenging, less snappy. So given an opportunity, I think I'd take this. I was racing. I don't know why I have this. <coughs> just a clean. And then I just a. There are times I think I'd like to get a real Cadillac like this. Just to cruise with. Just to have, you know. Or Oldsmobile. I mean, it's. I think it's it mostly... This reminds, thing makes me think Cadillac, but... This was a big deal racer for a long time. You know? Supplanted by the Klub. And Christmas. Yeah, I keep that. I'm not sure why I have this one. I feel like there was a story, but hey, we've got a wagon for parts running and stuff like that here. And another... Why do I have all these Albanies? I feel like there's a story for each of them. Like, you know, I, they got me out of a situation and I just said, hey, we'll have... We'll keep them in there for, you know, again, it's the fleet. This is the drive around and, you know, run errands kind of fleet. And why wouldn't you have some nice Cadillacs? Oh, yeah, we have a, a, what you would call a fugitive. They're nice. I like the sound of these. And I think, again, I think there was a story on this one. Are these cars I could just get rid of if I needed to get, say, you know, a supercar? Yeah, but, you know, look at look at what I'm doing here. You know, it's like, hey, yeah, go grab a, go get, take the keys to the, to the, uh, one of the bananas and go get yourself a coffee. You know, it's like that kind of a thing. We have another floor. Wow, it just seems like so many cars. And a golden Vajero. Okay. So, this has two Vajeros in it. I mean, theoretically, I could get rid of it. I forget. There's some reason I like the gold one. I like gold Vajeros. This is actually very close. I mean, I realize it's not exactly a Subaru Outback. And that there are other cars it's closer to. Well, I think there's a Toyota that is much closer to it. But this is in the paint job of our old Subaru Outback. That... That was a neat car. It seemed like it, it seemed faster than it should have been. Like it was definitely an interesting car. It was it was zippy. But I like that car. Great in snow. And you know, as you know, I have all kinds of Patriots here. This is this is probably an uninsured one. Not insured. If you get rid of it, you lose the front bumper. I have the exact same car actually. I think in both both accounts here. This one is. Also not insured. It's, another, it's a grab that has the side pipes and the lights. This has the front. So, you know, here's the ones you can get off the street. These can never leave because if you take them in to get insured, if I even accidentally bring them into my workshop, then all this stuff gets stripped off automatically because there's something glitched. And here's a stripper. A stripped down version. This is what happens to it if you bring it into the shop. It goes from this to that. And there's nothing you can do about it. And these aren't options you can add back on. None of those. So, do I need another stripped down one? I mean, this one is insured. I guess this is the one I would drive if I was driving it anywhere. So, 
again, this is the, the, the fleet of do you need to grab a car. Then we have, ooh, and check this out. A Saddler. And the Saddler, this was, you know, this has got a pretty nice pearlescent on it. So there's my Saddler. If I ever want to race utilities, grab this from Merriweather. Is that insured? Yeah. Merriweather Mesa. Probably have two of these and two of those in somewhere in another garage as well. At some point, we're going to get to the garage where this lives, and I'm not exactly even sure where it lives. I think it's probably in the workshop still. The arena workshop? I don't know. We'll figure it out. But that may mean I may end up counting one more spot than I should. That's an interesting thing. We could probably look that up. Where should we park it? I'm gonna guess in the, uh, the arena. I'm on the clock. What you want? Some wheels? It should still come up in the list. Huh, where did I park that then? Who's in the nightclub? Not in the office. Obviously not there, obviously not there. I may have counted this. It should come up. There it is. It's in um, Supply Street. So one of... The one with the two tyrants, I should take one off there. So instead of that being a three, that would be a two. All right. All righty. At least we sorted I'll get back that to work. I like the adder. I've mentioned that before. This is my only apartment on this character, I believe. And of course, we have to keep the gold. This is, this is the um, Faggio Deluxe, as I called it in the one video uh, when I was impersonating the professional badly. And I'm driving the reviewing the Faggio Deluxe. It's exactly like a regular Faggio, except it costs twenty million dollars or something like that. But I can keep in that one forever. I love this car. I just do. This is, again, I tried to make it up as much like a, a Matchbox car I had as a kid. You know, the Dixie Challenger from Hot Wheels. I still have it somewhere. It's, it's worn the gold Dixie Challenger. Love food. I have a love for Fudos. I just do. They're so customizable. And, you know, even this one, these muted tones. I don't have a lot of brown cars. I like this one. I really do. I have an allergy, even though they're they are obsoleted by now. But there's still there's still something about driving one. I, I like these. This is of course my main EC runner. Again, another Matchbox based one. I have a purple EC Matchbox here, a purple Mini. I don't think it had the surfboard on it, but it fits the vibe. Again, another purple uh, Duke of Death. I have a lot of Duke of Deaths. They're not really even. A main thing for getting around surviving anymore because I mean it's just it is what it is but I used to have a philosophy of keeping a Duke of Death in every garage just in case you had to need something armored to leave but if someone's shooting at your your, your building it should just stay stay inside this is of course and I got this this one I forget why I got this paradise but I, it's one of those things where you just gotta like it it's got the, the curtains in it it could be, you know, could be taking a nap. Net. I had this when I had my other, uh, my six car garage up in the middle. Is there still, I don't have that anymore. I think I sold that off. This was supposed to be, if I set myself to spawn there when I was, back in the days when Steel and uh, Sand Kings was a thing, this would be where I was sleeping. That was, that was the theory. Surfers, one of the slowest things in the game, but... There's just something you gotta like about them. This is kind of my, um... 
I guess the rusty one would be the the one that'd be more of a men at work kind of thing. But this has got the red, the better colors. But the rusty one's a bit more red. Camacho, gotta love it. Do you have any space here? I, you know, I don't one, two, three, four. Yeah, maybe. This might give us back another one. Do we have an empty? We have an empty. Wow. Didn't expect that. Let's mark that. It's a running total here. They might have screwed this up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That 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 puts us should put us right about ten, give or take. But I think I might have forgotten one or, or counted one twice or something like that. But ten spots is at least a point of confidence. You know, confidence. We may have more. I really thought I was down to three or four with this one. I really did. Let us see, where is the next spot? Okay, let's talk workshops here. Okay, we got a spot here. Let's go first person, of course. These got have all Spartan names on them and stuff like that. And I still want to experiment with this one. I have painted it. What isn't crew paint is actually ultra blue. There's a little bit that's ultra blue that I couldn't make crew. But I'm curious when I go into one of the game modes where it changes the color of your vehicle to either you know the team purple or team orange. Usually crew gets crew overrides that, so it, it becomes a confusing and startling thing. And so I'm just gonna you know they'll, they'll figure out. I think probably my ultra blue will turn orange or purple, so you get a little bit of highlight on so people know who you are, but confusion. I think I've called this one the crewmate because it has all crew color on it. I'm not saying it's a good design, but I have it as a purpose design. It's that kind of thing. We have, you know, all kinds of rusty things and non-rusty things. Good things. Good things. We have at least one spot in case I need to roll something into the workshop. All these Spartan based colors. Mid Valley Spartans. My kids are Spartans. I didn't, I was not a Spartan. I was probably Spartan, maybe? I was in the, was in the public system for a couple years. So I have a little bit of Spartan blood on me, you know, but on me, blood in me. It's early in the morning. We have some stuff here. This is, this was made to look like, uh, again, it's another version of my grandfather's Impala. This actually is more of an O'Hara car. This is, I went to Bishop O'Hara in, uh, in Dunmore, which is now Holy Cross. They've got merged all those schools together. But this one's got those colors. It's got the more of a Bruin color to it. If I made it more fluorescent, for like a brighter baby blue and some yellow, then that would work. But that's that's more of a Bruin vehicle for you. Yeah, of course, more orange juice and toothpaste. It's and big old trucks. That's how much I like those trucks. I got I got a rusty one and a non-rusty one. They're just they're just fun to drive around. Still working on Mater's cousin here. Yeah, the project, as it were. I don't know what to do with this one. It's rusty. You put guns on it, it takes the fenders away, and the fenders are just they gotta like the fenders. It's just I don't know what to do with it. I don't know what to do with it. Yeah, you know, here's you know, it's Rusty Jack. You gotta have a rusty old hot rod, right? Rusty. And we got. Let's talk spots, though. One, two more spots. I mean, that's for the tank or whatever it is. And I, I don't really have a plan of getting one. It'd have to be on a radical sale because there's really not a use for it. So that's. I think I can mark these all down. There's one. It's, it's, I think that's three so far for the. We're up to 13, I think. You can check my map if you want. I mean, oh, I exited instead of going. I went down too many. Let's go back in into the the, the real level B2. 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 
course, here's the golf. Now, this is just the one that has obsolete everything else. Is that slammed enough? I'm a little concerned. I know this is going to get rid of my adder. But I have to make sure that this thing is slammed to the ground. Suspension. Yeah, okay. It's got the competition. Sus suspension. Exit the workshop. We may need to take different wheels out. Well, we'll take, maybe we'll take a, uh, a limo ride out of here. Now, this is an Italian GTV Custom that I picked up. Again, there was, again, a huge sale. I didn't want to necessarily invest in lots of these. So I think I got one custom, one regular. See what the what all the, the brouhaha was, what the hubbub is about these. They're, they're competent. I don't know that I've fallen in love with them yet. I mean, you know, it looks nice. But then I had to do, of course, one wild rapid GT classic kind of thing here. Just 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 completely completely wild you gotta love a Pantera I don't think I did much with this paint wise but I believe it is fully ready to roll I just leave it as is it's kind of in the same paint scheme as the one uh, the one Sterling GT that I have so eh. it has guns so why, why did they put guns on that it doesn't make any sense whatsoever let's put guns on it well, I'm not the type to kiss and tell, but I've been seen with Farah. Okay. Well, <laughs> well, uh, you know, the unknown, st the unknown stuntman kind of thing going on here. Is it Colt Seaver? Is that? It? Oh, there's a space. There's one. Well, this thing is such a disappointment, honestly. It's, it doesn't even go up to the odd. I might trick it out and put the big pole on it for the, uh, for cutting the wires. It might I might give it a more military as opposed to goofy paint job. I might do all kinds of stuff with that, but Bugatti This one has the orange sterling in it. The red orange. I have a blood orange kind of thing going on here. Looking good. And I think that's it. So we got like what one more space out of that? So we got should have something like fourteen or something. Eh. Alright, let's go get a limo. Let's get a limo. And you might say why, because a limo. Well we could do this one of two ways. We could take two limo rides or one limo ride. We could take the limo ride, because we've already checked here, here, here. Um, I didn't go through the, the special vehicles here, but I mean, they all look pretty much the same. I'm, I'm short a couple of them anyway. I knew that in my other, account, in my other video either. So I'm trying to take it for granted that I had all of them in the other one, and I'm short two in this one, and I'm waiting for sales. Did all those. Did those. Did this one. Did these. So the other things that need to be done are... Look at the bikes. Could look at the, the, the aircraft. Could, we do have to get over here. We have to get to that apartment. Do we want to do the limo ride all the way up here? Or do I just take the limo ride to here and then teleport? I think that might be the best thing. Teleport to teleport to the top, then sparrow our way down. I think that might be. And actually, now that I think about it, I was thinking, I don't need the purple. I just took off the limo and it defaults. To bring me back to the casino. Ms. Baker. Hi, what do you need? Sure, no problem. Making me happy is something you have to do now because I kill all those people for you. So. And she clearly has no idea that I've robbed the casino repeatedly. But I don't really plan on robbing it again, so. There's there's no attention on the casino. Oh, casino night. Casino nice. Casino heist has been completely obsoleted by the, uh, the Keo Perico in the eyes of many.
I mean, I think I would probably do Keo Perico before I did uh, the casino again. Because you do get a good amount of money and you can solo it. Which you can't do with the casino. But if you've seen my videos on the Keo Perico Ice, you know that it was a complete agony for me, so I'm not likely to do that again anyway. It's just, just not a thing. Not a thing I plan to do anytime soon. Someday, someday, like I'll, I'll get the bug and say, you know, I bet you if I did this, if I, if, if in my last heist I had only not tried to take out uh, the air control systems. I just snuck in with the, the truck. I could have done a full stealth run on that and everything would have been great. Or if I fully followed GTA men's advice and gone this way and that way and done this and the other thing, what are you doing, driver? So at some point I will talk myself into the K.O. Perico heist again, but not anytime soon, because I'm not convinced it'll blow any different right now. This guy's been drinking. No question. A lot of work maintaining the fleet. I would like to win that Valeria area a little bit. But yeah, you know, it is only 700k. We can get a TBR if we need to. That's a doable thing. we do this I can tell you a quick story I was out last night I was out with uh, with my dad and my brother-in-law picking up a, uh, a freezer for the basement for my brother-in-law and we're up at Sam's Club and we're going through Sam's Club and they had gamer chairs which you know I just have I have an old uh, what you would call it an old office chair I don't even know where I got this old office chair from no arms. It's just there. It's just a hard... It's, I guess, a little cushy. But there's not a lot. It's not a gamer chair. So I always end up looking at gamer chairs and then not buying them. Where did Mr. AMRT come from? So he left. Didn't even see him join. But at any rate, so, um... Oh, yeah, we do have to look at this garage, too. Where are you? So at any rate, we're looking at the gamer chair, and it's called the the respawn chair. I'm thinking they do know that respawning doesn't have a positive note to it, right? If you're respawning, that means you've been killed, and you're losing. That's not a positive. So I did not buy the respawn chair. I'm not really shopping right now, anyway. Let's grab some cash. I mean, it's only 5k, but we're on our way to a garage. Am I even recording? Am I recording? Yeah, I'm recording. Close the same. Yeah, you need to close. We're going to leave everything open. Let the staff take care of it. So, AMRT. I, I don't know. I, I mean, I'm in a solo still, right? Yeah, I don't know how he said he said he left. I don't know. That seemed maybe glitched. I guess we can look and see if we have anything to sell. Do we have to hit the bunker later? 
Nah, bunker's still working. We're good. Nothing else is going. I'll have to fix up my popularity at some point. That might be in, in, the, in the nightclub. That might not be today. All right. Here we go. A picador. It's a nice purple picador. I mean, it is a, it's an absolute keeper. I mean, it's a nice parts running kind of truck. When my, you know, I have a stock looking standard insurgent. When do you see these? That's just here as a collectible. Probably got for free, so there's no point in selling it. A real blazer. Uh, let's see. What the hell is it? Furia. Okay, I couldn't come up with Furia. I like the Furia. Furia handles nice. This is a must keep because if I'm ever in, uh, on Rally, you need one of these. It might, I might be able to give it a better paint job, but that's good enough for now. I like the Nightshade, even though the Nightshade is not the best of anything. It's still, I like that car. I like the paint job I put on that. This one I won, and as you can see, the way, however they put it out there, it's got this screwed up non-spoiler. Now I'm keeping it that way because I'm not, I'm not even taking this into a uh, a mod shop because it might fix it. I'm just keeping this as a rare vehicle. With the S81 something. Yeah, S80RR. Which leads me to wonder, it's hard to tell here, how many, how many spots do I have? Three! Three empty spots! Oh my goodness, this is just getting ridiculous. I got so much parking. And yet I want another garage. You know, Rockstar, we need more garages. Um, let's just grab something here. Let's grab, let's grab the nightshade. Let's take this out in the sun. It's a funny old thing. Sometimes the cars that aren't the fastest kind of, you know, like the Adder. They're just to capture the imagination. That's a big looking muscle car. You know, it's a big old, big old muscle car. Wrong house. I'm not, I'm not going to the CEO's house here. The CEO in pajamas house. We're up the street. Here we go. Here we go. Or I won't hit you. Unless you run in front of my car again. That's a good idea. Ponder this garage. Yeah, let's see. Am I I'm just making sure I'm recording again? And here we have it. First of all, the happy birthday EU dilettante. Obviously, done the colors of the flag of the EU. And this was during the whole copyright thing with, with the EU. You know, was, it, was it Section 13, Article 13, something 13 that they did? Yeah, no one ever, that, that, nothing ever stopped that. So that's a thing. Yep. But, hey, there's my bit of history. My only dilettante, now that I got rid of the pink one. The, the fell race homage. You gotta have an injection. You just do. What was this even called? Let's, I guess we can just hit the button. The free crawler. Yeah, that's... The free crawler is a neat thing. To drive it around. There's my... Upgraded version of the, the polar truck. He's in shirt. He's in shirt. In shirt. And a Sand King XL. And that's you gotta have at least one Sand King XL. I mean you just do. Okay. Let us return. Wow. Services. Costa. Give me some speed. Keep your eye on the sparrow. Hmm. 
the location for uh, for Rusty's his uh, his facility is a smidge better than the absolute craptacular one I have up here. Although it does, you know, for for the CEO. Although it does give me more parking up on this end of thing. So that's all I really need. So let's see how much what, what we've got over in here. The barrage is on sale. I'm tempted, but, you know, eh, not very. It's like a big radical sale, too, you know? Okay, yeah, we got it. We got somebody there. We, we scared the hell out of him. This one's snuggled up next to my uh, my hanger, so we'll be able to. Let's do the hanger first. It's coming up first. This little vanity piece that I'm doing here. I don't think you could put the sparrow in. I guess we could find out. I don't think you could put a moon pool vehicle. Nah, I would have done it, but I didn't They can't do it. Now, I haven't done a lot of management of this. There's the new helicopter. I haven't even modified that yet. I haven't put a dime into it. A classic A-10 look. I forgot I even bought one of these. You tend to forget them. Uh, again, a lot of these have not been overly modified. And what's on the list? Go to storage. I have like a volatile. The volatile's neat, but it would clear the floor. We got a Nakoda. We've got a Luxor. The Luxor, I think I could, if I end up running out of space, I could get rid of Savage. Because the Luxor is a, it's, I have that in, um, that's a Pegasus vehicle, so we don't have to really too much, you know, I didn't know you ran out of storage. I thought you had an infinite amount of storage, so you can do that. But there's not a lot taken up here yet. I don't have nearly as many planes on this guy. Oh, let's fix the music. Hold on. Yeah, nothing like having the computer freeze when you're just walking around in your hangar. Now I gotta... Oh, let's just grab this helicopter here. It's not as fast as the Sparrow, but it's not far enough. Or is it faster than the Sparrow? I don't Hello, even sir. Know. How can I be of help today? Okay, and do you have a you preference for your around. aircraft? It's quick enough. I mean, we'd finished with the uh, the hangar. I was just going to move on to my facility. But now let's look. Let's get some altitude. Change to the, the normal flying posture. I guess we'll we'll still go to to the facility and then zip off to. The biker bar there, and then then we'll pretty much, I think, we'll have to look over things. I think that might be it. I wonder what car we have out. Probably still the night chain. I think I'm gonna have to service the fans in this thing. I wonder if that's my issue. Every once in a while it just goes bleh. Mostly with GTA though, so I zip this down yeah yeah. And 
I would love it if you could see this getting flipped over and completely destroyed. But I think that just returns it. We're gonna exit in the Avenger. I know I have an Avenger. Hi, it's me. There's my Avenger. I could use a better paint job too, but there's a tank. There's some definitely some space in here. How much space we have to kind of see? How many empties? Oh, I'm not fond of gauntlet. I'm not in a racing mood today. I'm raced out. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six spaces. Wow. I'll tell you what, I'm going to put it down for five. And then. Let's, let's consider something. Because all I have here really is the weaponized Tampa. But if you go to Warstock, that's not worth anything. We're not even at that rate. How, what is, how do you get the, the trade price? Yeah, we're not doing that. I might have, I might have the trade price on my other one. I did use, I did use it for the, uh, the last debacle. But if we go down, okay, we have that. That's already on sale. Never mind. That's just ridiculous. Part of the doomsday heist. It's normally a million and a half. We got. It'd be nice if I had the three nineteen. That was my grandmother's old house number. The four twenty four. I think, and we'll put that in the facility here. <laughs> Just to have. I don't know that I'll get two of them. I don't know if there's that much use. But for 400k instead of at best 1.5 million. Let's go back into it and look at the description on that because I didn't even really look at that close. Everyone knows what you and your enemies are fleeing in hysterical terror. They will run and hide in the most hard to reach places. And that's where your trusty 50 cal turret. What is the use of your trusty 50 cal turret if there are nooks, crannies, and bolt holes you can't poke it into? Enter the barrage. So it does fit inside the facility motif. We already have one of those. I think I already have a hunter, and that's still pretty expensive. I think that's one of the normal sell. This, though, the Brigade for 222000 instead of $1.1 million. My, I mean, the Brigade isn't a particularly useful vehicle. But what the heck, it's a Pegasus. doesn't take up a parking space. Yeah, I'm starting to appreciate Pegasus vehicles for not taking up a parking space. Got a thruster. Hello thruster. Everything matches. Where is it going to put it? Over here. Wrong side. Does it come with the two guns as standard? Yep. Largely unmodified otherwise. You can put it in the Avenger. Hello. Yeah, we'll do the 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 work on its race brakes, body work, doors. Oh, this could take time. Just to figure out what I want to do with it. Heavy uh, turret bracket. 
reinforce frame. That looks that looks useful. It looks very protective for the person in the back. Looking damn fine. Roll cage. The whole thing is roll cage. What are they talking about? That just blocks your view, I think. Let's go secondary cut doors. Bumper panel. There's your stock bumper panel. With all the What, let's make it beefy. Mark three. Battering guard. Racks. Remove the card now. I liked all the bullets. There's a side panel. Okay, so that's... Different armor. It's even stock. Third bucket we already did. Truck bed. You take the tire rack out. Which really, how the heck are you getting that tire out of there anyway? And that's an interesting point with the way I built it. Utility upgrade. Utility upgrade too. I'm putting bulletproof tires on it, so what the heck? Does it have bulletproofs? Twin metered exhaust. Where's the exhaust? I know you can see what this comes. You can't see what exhausts you're putting on. There you go. I'm putting the twin metered. Let's put those Just Hood, pin bar, kinds of plates and dents and dents and plates and hoods and... Let's go utility, Shit, just for style. Lights. This has a neon kit. Okay, let's do that. I don't really have a paint scheme plan for this yet. It's not changing. Okay, that's weird. Okay, and canes. Okay, that's a thing. And we got galaxy. If we do that, then it almost looks like my other revolter. Alright, it's free. We can do that for right now. Um, respray, I'm not even going to go there for... I don't know yet what my plan is. Reese transmission. Turbo. Weapons. Top turrets. As I recall, the 50 cals do more damage at a faster rate. A grenade launcher, though. Now, nah, let's just keep between 50s up. Off-road. Stock rooms, let's see. Does this have the option of the newer? No. Yeah, yeah. Rugged Snowflake. 
Concave Rally Master's been my go-to as of late. Wheel color. Do we have gold? Here's gold. Strawberry. Yeah, gold. Let's go gold wheels. Tires. Tire design. Obviously. Bulletproof them that I don't need to spare. Leave the tire smoke alone. I might get out. Although I guess I can fly around now. Not raceable. But let us set our car set our goal for getting over to where it is. Oh, too far down here. We should be going like here. Give me a purple dot, or some kind of purple dot. And transition. I don't think I showed off the Deluxo in the uh, in his parking space in the nightclub, but you know I think I think we call that good. I have. How many videos? It will call a name or something like that. But I'm not going back. Transition and gears. Avenger coming in. Okay, we in the row. Row. Kipoo. Services, Avenger, return to storage. Bye bye. Bye bye. -bye. Woof, it takes a whole while to, to de res. Okay. Alright, let's check out this garage real quick. And of course we've got a fully loaded Fagio mod. It's got everything. Get me all the mirrors. And of course we have a lost bike and a body and a couple a couple gargoyles here, I think. Yeah. I've been over this. And there's the the new one and the, the yeah, I got rid of I got rid of a, a badger to put that in there and or bagger rather, a BF four hundred, Nakuma. We we got what we need. Got what we need here. Hardly ever in here anymore. Let's see. To get to get home. It's still showing that other thing is being out. You're through to your garage. You uh, really need me to bring you a ride? Um, nightclub service entrance. Give me the deluxe. I'll bring it by. on the video. But what else is left? Is there anything left? Any other parking spaces I could even show you? Not really. We've hit these. Boom, boom. These are businesses. We've hit this. We've hit that. And there's still a thing there. We've hit this. Both of them. Nothing in between. I got rid of the Route 68 to, to uh, car garage. An upgrade to these. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom. And boom. That's pretty much everything. That's the whole video right there. Of course, it puts the 
Deluxo. Really, my primary vehicle in, in either account is always going to be the Deluxo. And you can see here I have it in the Back to the Future 3 and Back to the Future 2 kind of situation here. Almost run over by a truck, admiring my car. And back to this is the 1950s uh, repair job with those wheels here. And we wait for cars to go past and more cars to run me over. So, if I got the count right, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 7, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. I got like 24 or 25 spots depending on how accurate I'm getting it. So we're okay. We don't really need to get hurt on anything in this account. We're, we're good for the time being. There, there's some stuff I haven't got. I mean, it doesn't have a half track, doesn't have, you know, a lot of stuff like that. But it doesn't need it. I mean, this is, this is a racing guy. The primary thing I'm planning on doing with Rusty Jack is just just racing. I mean, there's some CEO workload that does go on because I do try and uh, let's go check on the on the bunker while we're here. We're all the way up in Route 68, we might as well. Yeah, I haven't focused. Like I, don't, I didn't highlight the MOC in the other video or anything like that. I have, I have the pieces. I think of the MOC more as a more as a place than a thing you drive anyway. Although you can drive it, Kotsaka. There is still the Kotsaka. This isn't ready to roll just yet, which is a good thing. We're way far away from the water, so let's pop out of here and just to show the other car off. Return. What do you want now? Heaven to Murgatroyd, make what up you your need, mind. Boss? Some wheels? I can bring them around. My other I'll get there as I soon really as I like can. the paint job on this one. I like, I like the gold paint job on the other one. It's so 70s. But this one is just that new... Ah, uh, blue over gray. Which is very shark-like, I think. It's a very sharky kind of car. I did give this to Light Smoke. Doesn't that look so... So much like it belongs under the sea. Under the sea. Under the sea. I can drive this into the river. It don't bother me. How many missions have you failed by accidentally driving into the sort of river? By driving into the river. Oh, we didn't convert. Here. Okay, let's convert. I have to hold H to switch in? That was it. Are we in submersible mode? I can't even tell. There's wings. This is very spy hunting going through the uh <coughs> going through the the water here. Caught up. Okay, let's uh there we go. Not caught up for long. See, there's no danger of the water here when you're driving the corridor. No danger going slow either. But hey, if you slide off into the river, it's fine. And for some reason, it seems to get destroyed less, probably because it can go in the water, than the uh, than the scramjet when you're doing stuff like this. 
Deep. No problem. There's water. There's a little water. It's not going to bother you too. Wouldn't bother a normal python. Certainly not us. We love water. It's such a thing. I need some altitude. Yay! On that note, ladies and gentlemen, I think I think we can wrap this up here, don't you think? Oh, if we land this right on the right on the road. <laughs> Perfect. On that note, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you thank you for tolerating if you stayed this long through just another me recording what I had in GTN line at this point in history. And uh, and like that, you know, not too much else to report. Got a lot of GTA videos that I'm editing and have edited and have uploaded, so I might I might swing to some other games at this point. I'm still going to be doing my daily wheel spins and stuff like that, but you know I've got a lot of races and you know take a break. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. You won't notice because by the time I get done taking that break, I'll go do more GTA and then there'll be more GTA and there's always GTA. We'll see what, what goes on. On that note, ladies and gentlemen, this is your Black Knight. See. Yeah. In my rusty jack character. Hello. Have a great night. Okay, I got a question. I don't feel like driving all the way back. I feel lazy. Can Miss Baker take me to my nightclub so I can check on the popularity? Hi, what do you need? Sure, no problem. Oh, limo's not anywhere close. But the limo driver doesn't like dirt. To the limo! <laughs> That's one way of doing it. What are these guys doing? What's that? The state's been taken over by fucking immigrants. It's Just sucks. hanging out. All right. Excuse me. I hope I, my teleported in limo doesn't bother you too much.
I came back. I figured it'd be there. He's closing on there. He's failed again, hasn't he? Stop. Start. Hurry. Stop. I use the boop gun, he'll get scared. I stop some traffic. Here we go. Excuse me, Fuji. I need to just borrow this for a minute. Oh, just get on the ground. Oh, no. And we can't have to you have to knock around from the back side. Because otherwise it'll get completely hopelessly trapped in there. As you get trapped down here, I have been trapped with stuff you need helicopters to get stuff out of. Okay, that ought to be good enough. Start and hurry. And here we go, we're off again. This guy's always off. Really? That, that's how far you can go without hitting something. Really? It's just. Did you said hurry? Oh. It doesn't do well hurrying through the hills. At least this time I wasn't totally stuck. Alright, I'm gonna let him drive. We'll see how that goes. I'll be back.
All right, well, got there eventually. There are faster ways to do that, but. Now let's do this. Probably will pull out the, um, I wonder if I'll put this all as bonus material on my garage tour thing, because what the hell. There you go, garage. There it is in its natural element. I'll pull this out. That will put the Torridor back on the Fasaka. And if I get that the mission just to do the the beat people up, I can beat up the developers. I can just zip around and do the standard things. I don't anticipate that my popularity will be down that much. It's not. Okay. Let's pull the cash. I don't know why there's that delay, but it's changing some sort of state there. It's Register. Yeah, so basically we just have to do one mission. And with full popularity, exit the game, max popularity on all characters, and he'll be whisked away. And I got about 1.1 million. Well, after bonus, it's probably about a million dollars in stuff in these, if I needed it. For right now, I'm just going to make sure that the place is packed. I mean, that's not even so much about the money. Oh, it's the this At the end of the day, nothing beats a bit of physical marketing. You're going to do it old school and put fly posters up around the city. Get to work. This is terrible. Yeah, I'm not recording this. This is too boring. Should have known I couldn't escape by doing this at least once today. That should be maxed. The fly posters are everywhere. Three decades and two septums into this job, and it still excites me seeing them. I feel like a kid again. Good work. <laughs> this is a funny game. 